You know, just just a few comments before we get into the slides. And could we have the vision statement up first so people can read it while, while I'm commenting? Um, I've been your interim county librarian now for exactly three months. Um, it has been a pleasure to come out of retirement and work with um, Susan Marinici, our county administrator, and and the really great and just just hard-working, wonderful staff of, of Alameda County Library from the inner sanctum, as they've been described, to, to the pages that put our books away. I've had the pleasure of meeting um, a couple of really wonderful boards now, hard-working people, all of you. And I had, um, today I got to talk to Alan for a while as we drafted the agenda and looked at issues for the upcoming uh, library commission meeting. But I just wanted to say from my heart that libraries are the most, to me, the most important public space in America. And because they are a unique indoor public space, it takes a lot of work to manage what goes, what goes on in that space. Um, and, and to many of the speakers' comments about safe haven and a place to relax, a place to be quiet, a place to be by yourself. Um, that's, that's all so true. I, as a young Mexican-American child growing up in a suburb of Los Angeles, I was not allowed to leave the children's area because I was not deemed literate enough to look at adult books yet. Um, so we've all had those experiences, but we go back to the library because it gives us independence. It gives us a place to be lonely, a place to be free, and a place to, you know, look at all that great stuff that there is to read. When I came to Oakland um, 13 years ago, I was the library director um, at Oakland from 2000 to 2012. Um, I got to work with all manner of community, and we had happy, wonderful problems. And those problems involved closing libraries, where hundreds of people showed up at city council to protest that very notion that a city council would dare to close a library. Everybody wanted one in their neighborhood. Excuse me, in their neighborhood, and thanks to the community. No branch was closed, and indeed, thanks to the community, half of the Oakland Library's budget is a parcel tax. So we not only pay in Oakland for our library once or twice, we pay for it three and four times in some of our um, communities, such as Rockridge and, um, and, and the city of Piedmont. So those are just some random thoughts as I'm sitting here, taking all, in all of your comments. I appreciate your comments. I did want to state for um, the record that um, I have not been on the job for five months, so I did not receive a call um, from anyone except the call today that, I, that, that was discussed. I also want to dispel the notion that 20,000 books were discarded from this library because we don't know where that number came from. We indeed, through our library records and our library uh, information system, uh, know that the volume count here in Albany was 97,166 volumes, and that we now have 86,001. And so that's approximately, um, what, um, 11,000 volumes, more or less, give or take. Um, so I just want that on the record as I begin my comments. And when Mayor Weil asked if I could come and speak or just to offer some thoughts on the reading issue, um, I, re I really didn't know exactly what I was going to say. Weeding, as we call it, weeding as it has been brought up here tonight, is the part of every librarian's job. Um, we learn it, and we learn how to do it, supposedly, in library school. But we don't actually know what it means until we get on the, in the branch, until we get on the floor, until our supervisor guides us through the process, and we get started. It's not easy. Um, some, sometimes, you know, we don't do it because it's too difficult, or we don't have enough staff to help. It's very labor-intensive, but it was done here. I feel it was done with um, the library community uh, 
at heart, and I'm not ashamed to say that the library looks fantastic and that the shelves are filling up again as the branch manager and her staff continue to buy new books. The books are gone, folks. They're not coming back. We don't have a list. How we let you know what will be needed in the future is a process we have to work out with you, and that we will work with the advisory board to do exactly that. But please, let's indeed, as one of the speakers said, let's um, let's make it a conversation. Let's make it a, a, an agreement. Let's keep it respectful. And with that, um, we can go to the first slide. And my comments are very short tonight so that we can continue with the agenda and give everyone else that's here to speak on the issue time to do just that. So um, when we look at public libraries, what do they do? You know, our, we have uh, our, our mission, our goal is to, is to provide content. Content through many vehicles. One of them, of course, is books. And to help the the average public person, the child, the senior, connect with that content to find what they need. And if we don't have it, it's our job to make sure that the person gets, gets what they need, either from a neighboring library, through an interlibrary loan process, whatever. It's our job to connect content to the actual person. It's about the service, again, about the service and connecting the public to the information that they're looking for. And while it's true that our collections are only one piece of our services, the collections and the appropriate management of them are critical components in living out our vision and our mission. Of our overall budget of $33 million for the Alameda County Library, a budget that was approved in June, We've allocated over four million, I think approximately 4.6 million, or 14 percent of that budget, to materials collections. Okay. So collection development is is at the heart of what we do. It's at the heart of every job description. It's at the heart of our duties. It's part of everyone's performance appraisal. It's why a lot of people become librarians. They love books. They want to be around them. They want to be. They want to smell them and touch them and and be able to. Uh, a lot of librarians hide books, by the way. That um, that really our job is to make sure that um, that they are indeed off the shelf and and borrowed. Collections is though I think a bit of library jargon. It means the materials that we purchase and the materials that we circulate. We think about both collection development and, just as importantly, collection management. And the best service can't happen if the materials are not managed properly or regularly. We also um, started something called floating collections. These are collections that, uh, indeed, as the name indicates, float, uh, term indicates, float around the county. They're shelved at the location where they are returned. Um, they are encyclopedias. They are no good for many reasons, and so we also don't keep um, out, outdated material. And I think that at that point I'm going to stop so we can talk. What are we talking about next? Um, the questions. That's it. Yeah, that's we it. have it. Oh, yes.